Welcome to my office. My name is Dr. Luna. Hi. I'll be a doctor today and perform your annual medical assessment. May I please have your first name and date of birth? Yes, Brooke and January 1st, 2004. Okay, so I have the right medical chart here from your previous doctor. When's the last time that you had a medical exam performed, Brooke? I'd say about a year ago. And what brings you in today? Do you have any concerns with your health? Any symptoms? Yeah, I've been feeling a lot of sharp pains in my jaw, okay. both sides of my jaw. And I'm not really sure where that stems from, but... Okay. Yeah, I see you have a little bit of an indentation over here. And redness on this side. And when did these symptoms begin, Brooke? About a week ago. And you describe the pain as being sharp? Oh God. Yeah, sharp pains. sharp pains. How long does the pain last when it begins? Honestly, a couple hours. Okay. That is significant. Do you get any blurred vision or double vision and confusion? Not recently. Have you ever been diagnosed with trigeminal neurology before by any doctor? No, I haven't been to see a doctor about this yet. Okay. So that would be the first thing that pops to my mind. The trigeminal nerve is one of the cranial nerves that start from your brain and radiate all throughout your body. Trigeminal nerve is the fifth one. And when that's pinched on if or if that doesn't work properly, then you can get neurological symptoms and pain. Um, so I'm definitely going to make sure that I check out your cranial nerves. Do you have any known allergies I should be aware of? No, I do not. No allergies. Are you on any medication right now, either prescribed or over-the-counter? No. No. Any medical history I should be aware of? Hypertension, hypotension? Um, not that I know of, no. Have you ever been diagnosed with anemia? No. Okay. Any issues with your hearing, especially when the pain begins? Um, not really. Okay. If, if it has, it's been really slight. Have you noticed any skin issues on your face? Any redness, itchiness, dryness that doesn't go away? No. Do you use tobacco or alcohol? No. Any difficulty breathing? Maybe when I'm sleeping, but that's really all. Does that wake you up or feeling of just being gasping for air? Uh, I wouldn't say it's that bad, no. Any significant family medical history I should be aware of? Parents, siblings? Um, I think my mom has diabetes, but okay. I think that's the only thing. Maternal side, diabetes. And on the paternal side, any significant? Not diseases? that I know of, no. When is the last time you've had your blood drawn for a complete panel test? Um, maybe at when I when I came for an appointment about a year ago. Okay. One year ago. So we'll make sure to take some blood and do a complete panel on you as well today. I'm going to set this aside and put on my medical gloves. And I'll start off by taking your vital signs. And then I'll examine your face and your head. 
cranial nerves, arms, upper limbs, and lower limbs. Do you feel the pain right now? It's just slight right now. It's not it's not as bad as it could be. Okay. On a scale of one to ten. I'd say just a four or five. Okay. And is it equal on both sides of your cheeks or more so on one side than the other? It's equal on both. Equal on both, okay. Now I'm seeing a little bit of an inflammation here. Let me go ahead and just put my gloves first. And you start off by taking your blood pressure. Do you have an arm preference or is either one of them okay? Either one's fine. Okay. Let's go with the left, the right one, since that's closest to me. You can just slide this right there. And I'm first going to check your pulse. Okay. Waiting for the radial pulse to disappear. Okay. That's normal. Good. So I want you to lift up your arm and just collect this with your fist ten times. I read them. Yes. To just recirculate the blood. Okay. And you can if you can hold that for me. Good. Blood pressure is a little bit on the lower side. Are you feeling dizzy by any chance right now? I wouldn't say so now. Okay, let me just make that. It was one fifteen over seventy five. How is your water intake? Do you usually drink at least eight glasses of water a day? Yes. Okay. So I'd recommend that you just make sure you drink enough water. Use um, salt. Uh, do you salt in your diet? Yeah, I should probably be eating more, but... No. Definitely mineral salt will uh, allow your body to retain more water and that will hydrate you even more and that will help increase the blood pressure a little bit. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take your temperature as well. Ninety-eight point six. So you do not have a fever. And let's go ahead and check your levels of oxygenation in your blood and your heart rate. You can just relax the hand over there, and I'm just going to feel your brachial um, carotid pulse over here by your neck. Pulse is normal. 
98% oxygenation and 80 beats per minute. So heart is working just as expected. assessment and I'll focus on your head and your face first. I'm going to press gently on your head and check for any lumps, bumps, any masses that shouldn't be there. Any pain when I do this? No. Any pain here? Any pain at the top of the spine here? No. on your head gently just let me know if you feel any pain okay checking for the eye reflex good I'll go ahead and examine the skin on your face Noting a little bit of redness on this side. Have you ever been diagnosed with dermatitis or psoriasis, any skin condition? No. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and check for any skin elevations. Can look over to your left. and open your mouth a little bit. I'm gonna tap on your jaw. Any pain there? Yeah. A little bit on this side, right? Okay. Make a note of that. So there's definitely skin sensitivity over on your left side pain in the jaw line upon tapping okay. alright so I'm going to 
go ahead and do a scalp check and brush your hair a little bit, especially in this area here, to see if during any scalp stimulation we can trigger any response in your trigeminal nerve. Okay, so go ahead and just relax. And a little bit of moisture. Bones. Okay, that's a good sign. Okay, so no scalp sensitivity is noted and no pain was triggered. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and check out your eyes next. Have you noticed anything like a blurred vision, double vision, any discharge in your eyes? Do you have contacts right now? No. Okay. Um, when's the last time that you had an eye exam done? A couple months ago. A couple of months. Okay, let me make a note of that. And the findings were all normal. Yes. Okay. That's good to know. Go ahead and look into the distance for me. I'm going to check your pupil response. Perfect. Pupils are round and reactive to light. They have the normal size and shape. Okay, about three millimeters in normal light conditions. Go ahead and look up for me. I'm going to take a peek at the base of the eye and check for any signs of jaundice. Good, no signs of jaundice. And now look down for me. Perfect. All right, I'm going to use my otoscope. I'm going to use my ophthalmoscope to do an eye exam at the back of the eye. And check your um, cornea, your iris, optic nerve, and you can continue looking in the distance. I'm gonna just make sure that I have a cool, clear picture of your eye. There we go. And I'm gonna come really close. Optic disc is intact. No detachments of the cornea are noted. Okay. I'm going to take a look in the other one as well. Good. 
good ratio. Can you look up for me? Look down, left and right. And now look straight into my um, device. Perfect. Good. So no concerns with your eyes. The optic disc looks intact. Um, no detachment of the cornea. I'm gonna go ahead and look inside your ears. Have you noticed any discharge from your ears? Have you ever had ear infections that don't go away? They just keep coming back. No. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you to look towards your left. And I'm gonna just slide this right in here. And Take a look at the ear canal. I'm able to see the bony landmarks. Tympanic membrane looks pearly gray. Well-defined margins. No earwax build up. No discharge. Good, that looks perfectly healthy. And do the same over here. Inspecting the ear oracle, exterior of the ear. No discharge is noted, no abnormal colors. Do you feel any pain when I pull down on your ear? No. When I pull back? No. And up. Oh. Okay, let's take a look inside as well. Normal tympanic membrane. Eardrum is not perforated. No redness. No signs of any erythema. Good. I'm gonna go ahead and test your hearing next. So I have here a tuning fork. I'm gonna strike it and cause a vibration and I'm gonna place it into different positions. And I want you to tell me which one is louder, position one or two. Okay. So this is one and this is two. Gonna repeat the test over here. Position one and two. One. Okay. I want you to keep your eyes closed and tell me if you hear a sound in your left ear or your right one. Left. Right. Left. Okay. And now is the sound moving toward you or away from you? Towards. Away, towards, away. Okay, can you point to the sound? Good, good, perfect. All right, I have here a Snellen chart, and I want you to hold this about an arm's length away, like this. Okay. And oh, that's perfect. And can you tell a uh, read? To me, the bottom most line here. L T F P H. Okay. Now, can you cover one eye and read the same line backwards? H P F T L. Okay. And what letter is this one? F. What color is this one? Orange. Okay. Now, can you cover the other eye? What color is this? Green. Can you tell me this letter? E. Can you read this line backwards? S V J H D. Perfect. So definitely 2020 vision. Okay, I'm going to check out your nose. 
Have you had any problems with your smell? No. No. Any pain in your nose area, sinuses? No. No. Okay. So go ahead and keep your eyes closed. And I'm just going to palpate your sinuses and your nose and check for any congestion, any discharge, anything that's abnormal. I'm going to start with the frontal sinus. Okay. Palpating your maxillary sinus. And percussion. Adenoid and sphenoid sinuses. And let's do the transluminant test. Okay. Looking for a reddish pinkish hue. Good, I'm seeing it. So sinuses are not congested at the top of the forehead. Can you open your mouth for me? Okay, a little whiner. Okay, good. And then over here. Okay, good. Good reddish hue. So, no clogging of the sinuses. Alright. I'm going to cover one nostril. Can you take a deep breath in? To your nose. <laughs> okay, good. And out, and now I'm gonna cover the other one. Take a deep breath in. And out. Okay, so the left one is a little bit clogged. I'm gonna give you something to smell to see if you can detect the smell. Okay, so I'm gonna obstruct the right one again. Lemons. Lemons. Okay, good. So you're able to smell just fine. And let me take a peek inside the nose as well. For any obstructions. Checking for a deviated septum. And discharge. Good. Not able to see anything of concern. Next up, I'm just going to take a look at your appearance. Your chest, your arms, and make sure I'm not missing anything that would be concerning. You have a few moles on your chest, have you? Had this checked out by a dermatologist? No. Okay. None of them are raised and they're all one color. Well defined margins. And let me look inside your arm on the inner part. <clears throat> Checking your capillary refills two seconds on your right arm. Okay. And two seconds pass on your left arm is so normal. Okay, next up I'm going to check the back of your throat. Can you open your mouth and say ah? Oh. Ah. Uh. Okay, good. Tonsils are not in enlarged. I'm not able to see your thyroid, so no signs of any lingular thyroid. Okay. I'm going to palpate your thyroid and your lymph nodes next.
looking for any elevation of the thyroid gland and palpation Can you swallow for me? Okay. Thyroid gland moves up and down, barely palpable. I'm gonna check your lymph nodes next. Starting with the preauricular lymph nodes in the front of your ears. And the occipital lymph node, cervical, on the neck, deep cervical in the back of the neck, Superficial cervical, supraclavicular. Can you shrug up for me? Perfect. Now, good. Okay. Submental and submandibular lymph nodes. But I'm not able to feel any enlargement. Okay. So let's go ahead and lay, lay down and I'm going to take a look at your scalp more closely as well as your um, abdomen, uh, knees, legs and feet. Take a look at your scalp next, and I'm looking at the skin, checking for any signs of folliculitis. Or dermatitis of the scalp. I'm going to check the dermatomes on the scalp and I'm going to touch it with something sharp to say yes when you feel it. Okay, the house sensitivity zero. Yes, okay. Let's try the same area again. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to touch with something dull now. Do you feel this? Yes. Okay, and this? Yes. Is this sharp or dull? Sharp. How about this sharp or no? Sharp and this dull good. Taking the hairline. Even distribution of the hair follicle. Eyebrows are full and even.
Okay, that's very good. No signs of any skin conditions on the scalp. I'm going to focus on your abdomen next. Okay, Brooke, are you comfortable? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at your abdomen. Is it okay if I lift up your top a little bit? Yeah. inspection of the skin checking for any indentations elevations nevis or moles that are abnormal Listen to your heart and lungs next, as well as listen to the internal abdominal sound. So just go ahead and breathe normally. to hear S1 and S2, not hearing any extra sound or bruit. Okay, I'm going to listen to the aortic valve right in between the chest, good, and to the carotid artery. No bruits are heard in the carotid artery, so no signs of any heart failure or heart abnormality. Okay. Checking all four quadrants of the abdominal cavity. I'm hearing normal sound activity in all four of them. No swooshing or gurgling. Okay, good. All right. Next up, I'm going to feel the cardiac impulse, the point of maximal impulse on the midclavicular line. And I'm looking for the fifth intercostal space. Three, four, five, six, five. Okay. So this is where I'm able to feel the cardiac impulse, okay. which is normal. Good. I'm going to do a light palpation of the abdominal area next. Checking for any hidden masses, any lumps, any sudden pain. Oh, you have strong muscles. Okay. Can you elevate your legs a little bit? Yeah, just bring up your knees slightly. Perfect so that there's no tension in the muscles. Good. Feeling the head of the liver, the tip of the liver. 
not enlarged. Spleen on the left side also not enlarged. And the stomach has normal shape and size. Pressing down on the belly button, patient does not indicate any pain. Okay, I'm pressing down on the kidneys. Not bad, good. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and check out your legs, knees, and feet next. So next up, I'm going to check your legs and your knees. You can lower this one and your left one. Checking for any edema on your upper legs. No signs of any edema. Can you flex your um, right leg all the way towards your chest? Okay, any pain there? No. Okay, good. And can you flex the other one as well? Any pain there? No. Good. Okay. I'm going to check your patella and your kneecaps next. I'm also going to check the popliteal pulse. That's normal. Okay. Is it okay if I remove your socks? Yes. Checking your lower legs for any signs of it doing wrong. And checking for any indentations on the skin. in between the toes for any hidden melanomas or any discharge irritation psoriasis okay. checking the capillary refills two seconds and let's see the pulse. Your um, feet are quite cold. Is that normal for you? Yes. They are like ice. Pulses are synchronized to plus, so no concerns there. Okay, I'm gonna check out your ankles. For bone integrity and the tibia bone. Now I like you to flip face down so I can take a look at the back of your uh, feet at the plantar region. Okay. Checking your calves for any signs of edema. Palpating the plantar region. And tapping on the calcaneus 
bone. No pain indicated, no signs of any redness, swelling, irritation on the plantar region. I'm going to do the Babinski test next. Good, negative Babinski. There's a little bit of a um, callus build up here. Have you had this for a while now? Yeah. Okay. It's quite thick, but physical appearance looks normal. We'll keep an eye on this. Okay. I'm going to check the dermatomes in your feet next. I'm going to touch you with the sharper doll object. Go ahead and say sharper doll. Sharp. Okay. Doll. Wonderful. Sharp. Doll. Okay. Let's try that one again. Sharp. How about this? Tall. Good. Tall. And how about this? Sharp. Yep. You got it right. Okay. Go ahead and stand up so I can take a look at your back. Go ahead and inspect the scalp in the back of your head. Okay. That looks normal. Gonna Keep your hair up in a ponytail. Actually to the side, I think it's going to be more manageable. And you have a little bit of an irritation in the back here. Are you aware of this? No. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take a measurement. It's about one centimeter by 1.5. Looks like um, contact dermatitis from maybe your jewelry. Does it itch? No. Okay. Have you used any hair products recently? Yeah. So that could be the reason why as well. Okay, I'll keep an eye on it. It's 1.5 by 1. I'm going to go ahead and Palpate your spine next and check for alignment. Okay. 
curvature of the spine is straight, there is no misalignment. I'm gonna go ahead and percuss the back and check for the resonant sounds. And also tap your spine and check for any abnormal neurological response. Go ahead and listen to your lungs in the back. Okay. Take a deep breath in and out. Okay, good. Deep breath in and out. Good. Now I can just breathe normally. No hissing, no adventitious sounds in the lungs. I'm going to take a quick measurement of your back and check for symmetry. Group, this completes the head to toe assessment for today. I did a very thorough medical examination of you from a clinical point of view. I'm going to go ahead and put in an order to get some blood drawn so we can check your vitamins, um, your blood count, your um, um, you know, everything that has to do with your with your blood. Do you have any questions for me today? I did examine your trigeminal nerve and I haven't been able to find anything abnormal with it. I would recommend that um, you put some cold compresses from time to time when you feel the pain and let's keep an eye on it and check back in a couple of weeks to see where you're at with, with the pain. Okay, all right. Nice meeting you today and I hope to see you again soon. Yes, thank you.